So we're here at the Lenora Connect, and uh, who are you? Uh, Gordon Kruberg, I'm the CEO of Gumsticks. And uh, uh, Gumsticks stands for uh, small PC like this? Gumsticks, originally we were the first uh, full implementation of Linux on a computer the size of a stick of gum. So this goes way back to 2003 when we were first uh, first in business and first incorporated. So that, was, that was way before the, the rock chip, all winner kind of we, based HDMI sticks that were running and, Android and entirely. stuff? Entirely. We were the first. Um, and uh, you know, back then, just being able to do a full implementation of Linux was a big deal. What was the ARM chips he was using? Back, the original was the PXA250 from Intel, which became the PXA255, then the 270 from Marvell. So it's the strong ARM uh, chips? That yeah, it was the one just after the strong ARM. Yeah, the SA16, I think, 1600, yeah. You had some good Linux running on that? Yes, was, the first. It was yeah, good. it was Everything full implementation of Linux using glibc instead of the uclibc. So it wasn't embedded Linux, and it was uh, powerful enough that somebody took that and then it ended up doing a BSD port as well. So we have multiple versions of full Linux going back then. And was it just a thing that made sense to make a PCB fit both sides and uh, several layers and stuff? and? Very our model, or was it like very special? Our, our idea was to put all the hard stuff into one small PCB and put all the easy stuff on an inexpensive board. So we, we drove the cost down, at the time we drove the cost down of doing you know, a multi-layer board with all the hard, uh, hard routing done so that somebody could connect something as simple as an HDMI connector, as you point out, and, and make one little stick that had uh, a, you know, a full software on it and, and running what HDMI. What was the price? Back First then. price, oh my goodness. I think we were, we didn't break $100, so it was $139, I think. $129, $139, something like that. That was the first HDMI stick PC ever. That was even, that was uh, LCDs. Um, the first HDMI PC came out a little later, um, and that was probably $179, yeah. All right. A couple of years later. But uh, so uh, you're the CEO and founder of Gumsticks, and yes. uh, it's a company here in Silicon Valley. We are here. We're based in Redwood City. We have our R&D going on in Vancouver, Canada. But uh, right now, what we've done is turned from just uh, making it simple to have all the the uh, hard uh, uh, electrical engineering work done on a com, a computer on module. We've uh, entirely would like to show that what. Yep. Sorry, I'm gonna pull this back. back. Yeah. We've now got something that we call Geppetto, which automates the entire design of an expansion board or a single board computer so that anybody can sit down and build exactly what they want and get it to market in the course of a few weeks. So automate the design of a PCB? Yeah, well more than just a PCB, the entire electronic device. All the electronics that go into a device. Our motto really has been to dream, design, and deliver a product. And uh, every, every year we try to add something to our product or service portfolio to make it easier for somebody to you know, build what they dream up. Right now, most of the great work in electronic device design is done in software. What we're trying to do is make it easy enough for anybody who can program to design their own custom electronic device that runs the code that they want to run. So yesterday I did a video with a a guy from QWERTY, embedded yes, design, and yeah. he's doing. He's using KiCad. Yes. How does this compare with using something KiCad like KiCad? KiCad is for an electrical engineer. Geppetto is for anybody. So KiCad, uh, somebody has to know about part placement, how to do the routing, how to construct a bill of materials, how to uh, generate the Gerbers, how to send the instructions off to a contract manufacturer, and then have it all assembled. Once that assembly is done, the operating system needs to be built. Uh, operating system, has to have device drivers, has to have uh, documentation done. All of that is managed right now um, in Geppetto. So what Geppetto does is take block diagrams, things like I want an HDMI connector, and then if I have an HDMI connector on the board, what else do I need? Geppetto will manage that and will ship the com customer a product 15 business days later that is able to run whatever they want. 15 so business we, days. So we wipe out um, weeks to months of electrical engineering and operating system work. Since when do you have this solution? Um, this has been instantiated for Gumsticks products for a couple of years now. We expanded to support many of our former competitors like Tordex or Technection. Uh, we're working with several other new companies to uh, uh, add them to our product lineup. 
So does that mean that uh, 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 what Toradex and TechNection is able to get on, like print out out of this app, so the, the, the person using this app would get it done by them and or manufactured? No, not at all. Or? Anybody who wants to build an expansion board for a Toradex Calibri can do that expansion board in Geppetto. So what we've we've made it very easy for a Toradex customer to build the support electronics that are required in order to use a Toradex product. Like a mezzanine boards. We make, yes, exactly right. Yeah. They make the comm, we make the you know, mezzanine for 96 boards, that's why we're here. We make hats and we make carrier boards for Raspberry Pi, uh, for the Raspberry Pi or for the Raspberry Pi compute module. We make uh, expansion boards for the Toradex comm. So, um, yeah. So, uh, sorry, uh, Tor Toradex and TechNexion, they, they are involved in making a, a small PCBs, uh, kind of like a SOM. Uh, exactly, have you had a they history make SOMs. They make SOMs. Have you a history in, what, what's your history in, with the SOM? You were, because we were you, the first. You were the first to do we SOM. We were the first full Linux SOM. And, uh, you know, back in 2004 when, I think Toradex has been around almost as long or close to as long as we have, possibly longer. Um, uh, you know, we tracked them and we've admired their engineering for years. They've, they um, pioneered getting Windows onto a tiny SOM. Have you been working with them? Yeah, oh, that's my whole point here, is that we used to be competitors, and now what we've done is um, created Geppetto in a way that you know somebody can use Geppetto to build a product that will support the Toradex. So now we're partners. Nice. Uh, so uh, is this, uh, what's the business model on, the, on this, and uh, kind of like, these Somebody goes to our site, geppetto.gumsticks.com, designs their board, and then they can add it to a catalog, and we will then, then buy the board, and we'll ship them the board 15 business days later. Because there's so much innovation happening right now. People have new ideas. They want to do crowdfunding. They want to do new new devices, new stuff. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so this enables that? Absolutely. Then, like, this lets anybody time. who knows how to program can build a board. And uh, But... but there's, there's an app. There's an app called Geppetto, and uh, when you do stuff in there, yes. then you have some people checking that it's going to be okay on the PCB before it gets printed out. You don't just send it to the printing Doesn't, machine, right? Or it's not a printing machine. But the, we do have engineers inspect everything that goes through. All right. Like, kind of like verifies stuff and calculates things that they should be in the right place. Or, uh, that's, that's reasonably fair, some, yeah. fair, fair statement. Yeah. And, uh, uh, What's the price? Is it affordable to get things done? Well, it, 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 absolutely. I mean, it, you know, our entire manufacturing uh, NRE, the, so the manufacturing setup cost is $2,000. Um, and then we will ship you however many boards based on what it costs to make that board. We believe that for anybody building up to 20,000 units a year, this is by far the lowest cost of engineering plus manufacturing to get something done. Certainly the fastest. $2,000 to get set up, kind of like a license or kind of like a start? And then manufacturing fee. Manufacturing fee? Yes, and then so in order device. to have, so imagine that you want something manufactured, it costs us a certain amount of money to have our subcontractors build and set up their, their systems and tool. So in, in the app, how many possibilities are there with uh, this, like lots and lots of different uh, uh, modules and yes. like, things you can put? You can build almost anything you want in IoT. So if you wanted to build a cell phone, if you wanted to build a um, an edge device, an edge sensor, an edge node for the IoT, you could do that. Cool.